Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video. March is typically known as middle grade March. This is the month that a lot of middle grade readers love to read middle grade. And I have read middle grade in the past. I have enjoyed it. I really, I read a lot of middle grade when I was like younger as a middle grader. So <laughs> makes sense, right? Um, but I, I keep wanting to get back into middle grade. There are some stories that just sound so cute and wholesome and stories that I would enjoy, but I just haven't quite gotten to them. I always end up prioritizing like YA or new adult over them. So I thought it would be fun to go through all of the middle grade on my shelves. First, I'm going to start off with the middle grade that I have already read. And the middle grade that I have read versus the middle grade that I've read that I own is significantly different. <laughs> I only own three middle grade books that I have read. So let's just quick get through those and then I can tell you about all the ones on my shelf that I have not yet read. So the first one I read this past spooky season and that is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This is a spooky middle grade where you follow a girl who can see ghosts but her parents are fake ghost hunters and they have this television show so they start to drag her to different haunted cities Edinburgh, Paris, I don't remember what the third one was but I'm pretty sure there is a third one. This one is in Edinburgh and I, I love this one, I very much enjoyed it. I look forward to continuing this series but yeah, this is a good spooky middle grade. The same week <laughs> I actually also read the Ghost in Apartment 2R, and this is by Dennis Markell, and this, again, it's another spooky middle grade. This follows a little boy whose older brother has moved out to college, and he is so excited because he's going to get his older brother's room, only for him to find out that, one, he doesn't get his older brother's room, and two, that room is actually haunted. He and his two friends go around and learn as much as they can about ghosts to try and figure out what they're being haunted by, why they're being haunted, and how to get it to go away. This was adorable. I love this one a lot as well. And the final middle grade that I own that I have read was actually a recommendation from a subscriber, and that is Raising Dragons by Brian Davis. This is the first in a series. I don't know if I will continue the series, uh, but it was, it was a nice read. Uh, this boy kind of figures out that dragons exist, and he ends up teaming up with a dragon trying to defeat the dragon hunters, I believe. It's been a little bit. So the boy is a dragon, his parents are dragons, and he's being hunted. So, there we go. This is the only other middle grade that I've bought and read. Kind of a sad, small little list, isn't it? Like I said, I have read quite a bit more middle grade, and I'm interested in continuing to read middle grade. I just haven't gone out and bought it. Hopefully in the future I will be buying some middle grade and reading it. But I can always start with the middle grade I do already have on my shelf. For example, Dead Man's Hand by Eddie Jones. This is the first book in a series um, and it follows a young boy who is kind of like a detective. It's, this is a paranormal book. It is more so aimed towards young boys but I thought it might be fun to read as well because as you can probably tell I like a lot of paranormal middle grade so it's giving me like wild west fun kind of uh paranormal adventures so the next one that i have is grow up talia wilkins by karina evans and this is a coming of age story about a girl in middle school who is super excited to go to this pool party um but then she ends up getting her first period her mom is out of town and she's not comfortable talking to her dad, so she and her friend go on some little adventure to kind of figure out how to deal with her first period and what she needs to do in order to address that. So I think it's just a cute little coming of age story, you know, a lot of women can relate to it, so I think it'll be really fun to just kind of spend an afternoon reading this book. And then I have 
Welcome back, I'm Mabel Meta Cohen, and this is by Kate McGovern. This follows a young girl who has just been held back due to her lower reading level. However, she very much loves to tell stories and she has a huge imagination, but she struggles with the fact that she is being held back a grade and she worries about all of her friends moving on without her and continuing on with their education while she has to deal with a whole new class of kids and try and bump her reading level up to allow her to move on to the next grade. So, I think this is gonna be a fun one to read just with all the storytelling. It sounds like the main character likes to do. And I'm very interested to hear about like a young child's imagination and the stories they give, because kids are creative. So I am excited to read through this book. And then I have The Other Side of Luck, and this is by Ginger Johnson, that follows a competition, almost. It's kind of fantasy-esque. So this middle grade fantasy follows a princess who her father has set up this competition for her of, some, of someone needs to find a flower, and she decides that she is going to step up, be more than just the pretty little princess that everybody wants her to be, and she's gonna win the competition. But then we also follow this boy who needs to win the competition for his family as well. The two of them unknowingly team up together to find the flower in order to help out them and their families. Moving on, I have A Pinch of Magic, and this is by Michelle Harrison. I bought this last year. Just, it sounded like a fun middle grade fantasy that I would enjoy. These three sisters live on an island with their family and some familial curse or something happens and each of them are given three magical objects to try and help them figure out what's going on and lift the curse. I'm super excited for this one. It just looks cute. I love the cover and the colors. This is definitely one that I hope to get to soon. If not saving it, if not, I will hope I will save it for next spooky season. And again, speaking of spooky season and the fact that like half of these middle grade are spooky season esque. The final book that I'm going to talk about is Dust and Grimm, and this is by Chuck Windig. So the case with the siblings is that the youngest, the girl, was given to her father to be raised and he was very neglectful, and the older boy was raised by their mother. And so when they are both orphaned, she wants to move into her mother's estate to collect her half of the inheritance. Uh, but the family business, however, is um, mortuary for monsters and she has no idea how to deal with that life as she was raised by her father so she kind of stumbles into this very interesting family business that she doesn't know much about with an older brother who's not super keen on letting her in or just taking her taking half of their inheritance so i am very much looking forward to this i am saving it for spooky season but man would i love to pick this up now yeah, so I think this one will be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to the creativity with the monsters and the family business. And if there is a potential mystery, I don't know, that's my prediction, but I think it'll be a very fun, spooky middle grade read. So there you have it. Those are all the middle grade books on my shelves. If I have more middle grade books, I don't know it. I might think that it is YA. I mean, I'm also excluding uh, Percy Jackson. I feel like a lot of people know about Percy Jackson. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I have a bunch of bookish social media linked down below where you can follow me there, learn what I am reading, get my thoughts and updates, and we can chat. Otherwise, feel free to comment down below if you have any middle grade recommendations for me. I would love to expand my reading in that genre. Otherwise, while you're down there, you can go ahead and click subscribe. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.